So welcome to Technoday Life, and my name is Jeff, and so today we're going to look at the mini PC that I bought. So a few weeks ago, I did a short video on the mini PCs for sale for Black Friday, and this is actually what I got. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description for anything I mention in the video. So the mini PC that I actually got is this B-Link Series 5. And you can see it has a Ryzen 5 5560U processor. So this processor has a built-in GPU and it actually has experimental Plex support. So I'm looking forward to more AMD support. It has 16 gigs of memory, 500 gig hard drive, Wi-Fi 6, gigabyte LAN, and a adapter. So let's take a look inside and see what's in the package. So if we open it up, I am just as interested as everybody else. We have a user manual, hard disk installation drive, and I have a two ter I have a two terabyte hard drive that we're going to add to this. Some foam. The accessories which include which include a tiny little SATA cable, a mounting plate for your back of your TV, HDMI cable, USB cable, hard uh, power supply cable, other power supply and cable. So pretty standard stuff so far. Next we'll open up the PC. And so on the top we have this nice mesh. I don't know if it's for ventilation. On the side there's definitely ventilation. On the front we have two USB ports, USB-C port, microphone jack and a power button. And there's those vents. And on the back we have more vents, LAN port, which is gigabit, two USB, two ports it looks like, two HDMI ports, and the power supply port. And then on the bottom we can see this is the Series 5 E16 5112EJ or EOW64 Pro D model. On the top we have B-Link AMD, Ryzen 5, and AMD Radeon graphics. So let's plug it all in and see how it works. So before doing that, let's actually put in our hard drive here. So we need to unscrew these. So if we pop off the bottom, we have a hard drive cable there, so be careful with that. And then we have a 512 M.2 NVMe, uh, 16 gigs of memory, and sort of no name. This one does say Intel SSD on it though. And so for our hard drive, we just pop this in here. And then we should actually just be able to put it back on again. Okay, once we have the hard drive in, then it's time to tighten up everything. Now I have to say, overall, this actually feels a lot more quality than some of the other mini PCs I've had in the past. And it does rattle a little bit with the hard drive in there, but besides that, uh, very solid. Heavier duty than normal. Okay, we have everything set up here, so let's start it and see what happens. So it looks like Windows 11 is installed, and we'll just do that quickly. You, you don't have to watch this part. While it's doing its first time setup process here, I wanted to show you one little interesting thing. On the back here, it actually gives you what to press if you want to get into the BIOS or into the boot options, so delete or F7. 
Okay, so Windows has started up and I've actually personalized it a little bit because I don't like the, so I don't like the default theme. And so here we have the normal junk that is installed on Windows, but we want to uh, look for one thing. And so that is Ninite. And so Ninite lets you install lots of different programs that you probably already use quickly and it does it all automatically. So we're going to pick out some of these. So we have Chrome, VLC, Handbrake, and that is good enough to start. And then we'll get our Ninite. And then open file. And yes, and it will install those all automatically. So time for a cup of coffee. Okay, so we're all up to date here and just finished. And so now you can see we have all sorts of different things and we just have to set it up. So next we're going to install VirtualBox. And so we'll download that. Okay, so now we've installed VirtualBox and Basically, we have a machine set up that should do meet all our needs. So I'm going to be using this. I'm going to put it in a rack with the Mac Mini, which is right down there. And this will be my setup. I have a KVM right here. I'm going to put it rack mounted. And so for my new place, because I'm moving out of this office and into my basement, I know, a step down. But uh, it will be a nice space to do this, and I'll be able to switch back and forth between Mac and Windows pretty easily, and actually have two monitors for each. And also, uh, I can share the speakers and the keyboard and the mouse. So I'll let you know how this goes. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in this AMD B-Link box. So this is a to be continued video and you take care. We'll see you next time and bye bye.